Welcome everybody, Chris here to do a tag video which has been going around which began with uh, 1904 comics and it's been growing and I've been really enjoying the idea and uh, I've already done this uh, recording once before and I thought it was too long so I'm going to uh, shorten it <laughs> so it's a little more presentable to you guys. Um, so let's start off with uh, the 10, well he's got 10 questions that he wanted to answer so you get to know a comic book nerd. So here's my answers to those 10 questions. Uh, one, I've already answered my name, Chris. Um, number two, when and how did you start collecting comics? This is a little bit long-winded, but I'm going to try to shorten it and kind of a two-part question. Uh, first, early childhood, um, when and how did I start collecting? Um, uh, I mention this because it's it's not very representative of, of my current state of collecting or, you know, what people might really consider as, as comic book collecting, but it was definitely the beginnings. Um, so I think it, it warrants me telling. Um, so first thing is I, I, I grew up in a hamlet, um, you know, only a couple hundred people and you only had, it was like the one horse town, one store that had the groceries and, and um, you know, the hardware store and everything like that. One, one drug store, um, you know, one doctor's office, those kind of things. Um, and so at, uh, I remember at Miss Phil's uh, Shop and Save, she would get some magazines, some comics. Uh, there was some Spider-Mans, but mostly Archie titles. Um, and at that time, really loved Ninja Turtles, you know, the cartoons, the toys. Um, and I would ask my mom to get some of those comics. So once in a while she would give me some money and I'd be able to go get those comics. So I started uh, the habit of getting them, those Ninja Turtle comics, once a month. Um, but very early on, I would take care of my stuff for the most part. Like my Ninja Turtle toys, they couldn't be on their back. I really had to take care of them that way. They could not, I could not leave them anywhere if they were on their back. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny, of course, later on when a teenager, I, I got rid of that <laughs> habit. Um, but, uh, you know, so with the comic books, um, you know, uh, it wasn't typical, um, I guess, of a younger person to keep comic books in good shape. You know, they'd be ripped and thrown about and wherever in the house and drawn on, those kind of things. Um, I took care of them, really, I think, to the best uh, th that I could have, and I, I put them away in a drawer, you know, in the dark, stacked, you know, by uh, numbers and sequence and things like that. Um, so, for whatever reason, I just started my collecting habits um, early there. Eventually, I got rid of those comics going into an early teenager. I got rid of all those comics, and in, in uh, like, elementary school, a lot of us kids for uh, comic books and video games, you would definitely... Um, to, to experience different things because you wouldn't be able to have as much um, exposure or ability to buy or you know, basically buy those things um, in a small town or um, you know, didn't have the internet to do such things. A, a lot of kids would trade stuff and I'm sure that's true for a lot of people here uh, watching the video. Um, a lot of things you would trade. You would trade your comic books, you'd trade your video games and uh, any other um, entertainment form of entertainment you, you would trade with your friends until eventually over the years you um, everything you owned probably wasn't originally yours <laughs> um, so that's how I came about with uh, some Spider-Man comics and some Wolverine comics so let's fast forward now to high school where it's getting into uh, more of my uh, collecting as it is now um, kind of the, the hardcore collecting um, had a friend who had a license, uh, you know, later high school, um, and we eventually were making city trips. And of course, all this time, you know, I've been peppering comic books, you know, throughout whenever I could. Um, and uh, so we would make these city trips. We would stop by comic book shops, and I would try to get some trades and try to get caught up on, on the whole comic book universe. And, and most of that was, uh, you know, like Spawn and, and uh, Wolverine, that kind of thing. Um, definitely all throughout my younger years, probably for, since like uh, grade five or six, it was Wolverine and whenever I could get some Wolverine stuff, I'd get all through there. Uh, but so that's where it was kind of really starting to pick up is at the end of high school. Um, and then when I got out of high school, of course, you, you get a job. Um, myself, um, I, I got, um, my license late, I guess, uh, compared to a lot of other people. Um, into my 20s. I didn't get my license until my 20s and then, you know, had to get a car. When I finally had a car, um, you know, and I, of course I was working for so many years, had all that income to have, to be able to make city trips and, you know, get a pull list and 
uh, go wherever and whenever I wanted to. Um, and then, of course, uh, being able to buy a computer, getting on eBay, that really picked it up too. Um, so I would say they're in my early um, 20s, um, just getting out of high school or transitioning from high school to, you know, the real world uh, is where it really, really picked up. But again, that uh, collecting was, was throughout all of my years. Um, the next one is, uh, what were the first comics you started collecting, which is partly answered in the previous uh, question. Um, early childhood, TMT, Archie is really very fond of them. I have a full set now. Uh, like I was saying, I eventually gave them all away, but regretted it. And through the great power of eBay, able to get uh, a, basically a near mint set of all those comics I really loved as a childhood back again. Um, and then uh, Wolverine, right? So those are the, the two answers I'd give that uh, what what I started collecting, TMTs and, and uh, Wolverines. Uh, the next one has a couple of answers as well too. Number four, favorite TV show and cartoon. Let's start with the TV shows. I have four. I can't list it to one. I have four of the uh, TV shows that I cannot miss. Um, and so I, I have to answer them all together and ones that I really, really like right now. Uh, first and foremost is probably The Walking Dead. That's probably my favorite TV show. Uh, and uh, I share that with my wife, the love of that TV show. And every you know Sunday when it's on, we, you know, cuddle up together we got some snacks and we just we just really really love experiencing that show together um the next one as well too but uh um i don't know not as much because it's i don't know there's there's just more drama right that uh, walking dead you share that drama and it's a lot very tense um but uh the next one is, is a comedy show the big bang theory a lot of nerds love that one and when i uh discover that show uh, just uh, it's a cannot miss show for sure um, really really great show um, the other two are some more dramas uh, one is Under the Dome uh, which the first season was worked on by Brian K. Vaughn of Saga fame I don't think he's working on the second season now I think he eventually quit which probably is the reason why it took so long for the second season to come out but that is a really really good show as well too I'm really enjoying that one. And the last one is Game of Thrones. Uh, when I wanted to do some research basically for it, um, because one of my friends was into it, and uh, there was some um, actors that were going to be uh, at a uh, Calgary Comic Expo um, the previous year. So I wanted to see what the big hype was about it, and... Uh, I borrowed uh, her DVDs and, and it was amazing. I just really got into it. It was a really, really, really good show. So those are the four TV shows that I cannot miss. Uh, as far as cartoons, I'll say my childhood favorite, the one I'm most fond of, is Gargoyles by Disney. And it came on... Uh, I only had three channels because I lived in Hammett and had the Pharmavision, you know, just with the, with the antenna TV. Um, and Saturday mornings was uh, a, a delight for me uh, as many... Um, kids here or you know people uh, when they were kids they would they would really enjoy Saturday morning cartoons and uh, there was a Disney program called Disney Afternoons that uh, one of the cartoons they showed was um, Gargoyles and I really really love that one I'm trying to get all the DVDs and, and uh, um, you know of all those cartoons I think I got a couple of seasons uh, but really good my favorite um, other than that for sure yes I've shown um, and talked about a big love for the team and tees. Uh, my, my favorite cartoon was probably Gargoyles, and I probably got to see them more than the Ninja Turtles on TV. Um, um, but yeah, uh, Ninja Turtles was definitely a cross media um, love of mine. It had comic books and TV and movies and toys and things like that. Uh, but as far as strictly um, cartoons, Gargoyles. Um, any pets? Yes, we got a couple of pets here. You guys have probably seen in some past videos, but I got an awesome uh, chocolate lab, um, baby brain and this huge uh, excited body. Um, he can be a pain in the butt sometimes, but overall ch labs, not just chocolate labs, but labs in general are very, very good. I think learners and really great family dogs. Um, and we have a bearded dragon as well too. Very calm, very nice uh, lizard. Um, not uh, doesn't take a lot of work <laughs> to have a lizard. Um, let's see, next one. Where do you live? I live in Barhead, Canada. 
um, uh, my my uh, cereal. Here's a bit of a two part here. We'll say in my younger years it was anything that had marshmallows in it. So things like uh, Lucky Charms. Uh, I, I remember eating all the um, cereal first, uh, saving the marshmallows, soaking in the milk until <laughs> last. Um, and uh, a testament to uh, I think my my age now or or how much older I'm getting. Um, now is is I like things like Raisin Bran. I have a very big sweet tooth, um, but yeah, now being older, I get the the good old effects of Raisin Bran, and uh, but uh, get to fill that uh, um, sugar high with the uh, with the sugar covered raisins. <laughs> um, let's see, uh, month from birth is May, um, and so far. Uh, you know, the past few years, I've been really enjoying that, um, my birthday being in May, because I get to use the excuse with uh, a lot of uh, Marvel or other blockbuster movies coming out in May. I get to treat myself to a really awesome, you know, blockbuster summer movie um, in, in the month of my birth. Um, number nine, phobias. Oof, I say one, um, it's not a, you know, full-blown debilitating, debilitating thing, but, uh, something I get very nervous about, and that can be, uh, you know, cause a little bit of headache for me, is, uh, a little bit of a fear of driving in city areas. I basically don't. Um, I can drive highways, um, you know, in smaller towns and things like that. Uh, I only go maybe to West End and Mall and back. Uh, it's got to be very straightforward. Um... And I got to study maps sometimes if it's a new area, especially study maps for like an hour or two the night before. Um, so it is a little bit, you know, of somewhat of a phobia. And in part because of getting my license later in life, um, that that's something that causes me a little bit of uh, trouble and fear and nervousness. Um, next is the last question, number 10, my YouTube name. Uh, Doc and Howlett. Uh, basically, at that time, you know, you got to know uh, James Howlett as being the, the Wolverine's given name, and at that time, Doc and Akihiro, Wolverine's son, was being introduced. Um, so I was really liking those things, and of course, a lot of Wolverine names were on YouTube, so it was hard to get a YouTube name with the Wolverine in it. Um, so I decided on Doc and Howlett. I was really liking the character, really liked the uh, the origin story, so can I put those together and. I see it as being Doc and Howlett, Wolverine's son. Uh, so I'm uh, uh, Wolverine's illegitimate child, the one that he hasn't killed yet, I guess. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's my tag videos, and uh, just as many other people are doing, it's just an open tag. Present yourself as the comic book nerd you are. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all later.